So welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. Mark, what have we got this week? Thanks, Rory. Today, I'm going to show you a great feature for navigation called Tab to Next Reference. This feature is useful whenever you have that question, hey, where else in the code is this symbol used? So for example, here I'm on this uh, symbol called Text Viewer, this class. And I just put the caret inside the symbol and I hit the Tab key, mm -hmm. and it'll take me through all the references. And there I've hit the Tab key three times, and that tells me that there are essentially three references all through the file. Notice we also um, will stop you at the constructor. So if you're on a class and you want to get to its constructor very quickly, you can just put the caret in that class name and hit the Tab key, and you'll go inside of the constructor. Sure. Really nice, fast way to get there. And then I get all the way to the, you know, find my way through, find the location where I want to be. Um, once I'm in, I can make the changes I want to make and then hit escape to get back. Notice one of the things that's going on here with this. When we dove into this, um, we get into this code here, these register calls right here that we can yeah. see here. And in this particular code, I'm registering a bunch of different classes. That's one of the things that happens in the code. So if I were to come in here and maybe uh, create a uh, descendant, another uh, a duplicate of this, the, my super text viewer, and we'll imagine that I fill that whole thing out. Um, I uh, copy this to the clipboard. I guess we'll come in here and we'll implement that interface. So we've got that at least filled out. Now, what, if I wanted, it, let's, let's say I've done that. I've worked on this file. I've created this class that's based on the uh, this iClip view interface. Uh -huh. And now it's time to register. But I forget what file the register's in, or I don't want to go over and look for it. But text viewer is nearby, right? Yeah. That sort of scenario. I can say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to hit the tab key, find my way in there, duplicate the line, and then paste in my new class, right? And then hit yeah. escape to get back. It's that fast, right? You can use tab to next reference in conjunction with other Code Rush features to very quickly get to the place you want to go, make the change you want to make, and then hit escape to get back like that. So that is tab to next reference uh, in a nutshell. Anything it's very to, good. Anything you want to say on that, Rory, before I wrap well, it up? Well, absolutely. I was going to say that it, it's a fantastic feature. It's so simple to use. I mean, it's literally the tab key. It's what you're used to using all the time in Windows to going from one window to another, from one focus point to another. So it's a perfectly natural key combination. It's also as fast as tabbing between, say, text boxes. And it's that show me the next thing, that instinctive thing that that's what tab kind of means. So as you said, there's like this context awareness. So we have, I mean, I'm, we can go between any symbol. So you, you there yeah. went from a class to its usages, but you could equally use that on the interface or on a local variable or right. on let's, any other Yeah, that's, situation. This, these are really good points. Let's show just a couple other examples. I'm on an interface. Maybe I want to know everywhere else that interface is referenced, mm -hmm. right? Where is that interface used? And I can just hit that tab key to work my way all the way through. It's different from go to declaration. You can still do go to declaration to get to that main piece. But sometimes, to be honest, Rory, I'll be, I, I might go in and say, hey, you know what? Let me just hit the tab key because I know that this method or whatever I'm on is only called once, for example. Yeah. And so instead of hitting the go to declaration key, which is like you know, maybe uh, an awkward keystroke to hit, sometimes sure. that tab key is a little bit faster. So yeah. that's kind of cool. The other thing that happens is that if I hit escape, it takes me back to where I started. So if I come in here and hit tab to next reference, I'm now, I now am inside uh, this code. I go down to the color viewer, I hit tab to next reference, and now I'm going through the color viewer pieces right there. Or maybe I'll come down in here to clipboard format, find my way um, uh, around in this way as well. I'm up at vector viewer, tab to next reference here to go through it. And now we want to drill back to work our way back, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to hit escape. They're back to the vector viewer. Escape again. I'm on clipboard format. Again, I'm on color viewer. Escape again. I'm on text viewer. And you can see that's how we can work our way back. So you can go forward, dive in deep, hit escape to get back. Um, let me show you one more thing. I want to go, I want to bring up a, a file with a, uh, a big method in it, like this one. And you can use this as well. You can use the um, tab to next reference here as well to um, see all the references. So for example, here I'm on the, the parameter E and I can hit tab to next reference to go all the way through that, for example, mm -hmm. to see everything that's in there. Or I can be on sender and see if it's used anywhere. And that's what happens yeah. if it's only used in one place. I'm hitting the tab key and we're not moving at all. So I can very quickly go through and see, oh, where is this local used? or where is this field variable used? 
Here I'm on a local variable filter. Just hit the tab key. Plus I get that visual highlighting so I can see all the places yeah, as well. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. It just lights up the usages and you can tell, is this a heavily used thing? Is this something that maybe we can refactor away that we don't need so much exactly. uh, in some cases? Uh, if you see maybe two references, one's the declaration, one's the usage slightly further on, maybe you can inline that temp, you know, make, make, make your code a little bit more readable. Right. Um, I loved you mentioning the markers before. That's that's the effectively leaving a trail of breadcrumbs crumbs for you so that you can restore and find what you were doing. So it, it's the perfect exploration tool, okay? Yep. Use it with a combination of go to declaration and, and tabbing to the next item you go through you do investigate this level you see something of interest you think ah hang on that's going to help me with this other thing i'll quickly explore that and then when you're finished when you want to come back to what you were previously doing you just hit the escape and you're back up to your previous level of context and that's that's infinite you can just go back to the previous and the previous always find your way out of that woods right no i love that too because i'll, I'll often be deep in code really focused mm -hmm. and then i'll be like wait where was i before i came here and it'll just yeah. pop me out hitting escape key uh, a last thing I wanted to show here is on the Code Rush setup wizard, which you can get to from the from the Code Rush menu in uh, Code Rush for Roslyn. You can uh, enable it this feature on the tab to next reference page. You just want to make sure that option is checked right there. Fantastic. All right. Well, that's your Code Rush feature of the week. Tab to next reference. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.